It's our final year in school. They're like, oh, it's all right, it's all right. No, it's not all right. My dad, he is back in prison. Now is the time that you got to knuckle down. We asked them to record five minutes every night um, to be able to really use the camera as a diary and to bring the camera wherever they felt something funny or interesting or, you know, important was going on. I really want to get out of this stupid town. I've been really, really good at procrastinating and less good at actually doing work. In reality, I was never going to um, actually keep a journal or anything like that. I, I could not be bothered to do anything like that, but I could kind of see that it was a good idea. If Year 12 is so hard, then we might as well kind of get something else out of it as well, like help other people. Asian parents throw the most expectations on you. You've got so much riding on you. It's going to get real. We're 14 kids and some would send in an hour, some would send in half an hour, some would send in two hours. So it varied every week, but we had what I call the sweatshop of editors. What the hell do I even want to do? <laughs> I definitely do not feel prepared. It's freaking me out. And my mom won't bring me to school unless I fix my room, and I just wish you would understand that I'm really under a lot of pressure right now. Having this camera and having this responsibility meant that I had to bring these things out, and I had to feel uncomfortable in order to have a honest and real portrayal of what my life was. It was an amazing experience to just understand who I was. And the best part of it is that now I know there's going to be an audience that's going to be understanding who I am the same time that I'm understanding who I am. How much have you had, Zoe? So much? You go. You gotta go out of the bang in your 12, and we will be going out with a big pink bang.